Hello, human beings. I am Chris Lixian, and welcome back to VR in a wheelchair. Today, we are reviewing a game called Kayak VR. I only played the demo because the game is not fully out yet, and it has been pushed to July the 12th for release. So there's two maps. One is an indoor pool, kind of like a training area to learn the ropes. And the second one is Kings Canyon in Australia. Kayak VR is a game where you are in a kayak and you sail around different parts of the world in either free roam or in races, aka time attacks. I'm not sure how the races works as I only did free roam. But I'm pretty sure you can raise others or a ghost of yourself when you have completed the map once, of course. You can have your friends in the game, but only in the race mode and it will only be a ghost player because the multiplayer is only asynchronously. So sadly you can't enjoy the environment with them at the same time. The game is stunningly beautiful. It is one of the best looking games I have been playing in VR so far. The mountains, lack of better words, in the Australian map looks nearly photorealistic to me. And the water acts as you would think water would act in real life, at least if you ask me. I'm fairly certain that the developer used some sort of real life photos of the environment and placed it in the game but don't hang me up on it. When you paddle around, you can see fish in the water, birds in trees or the ground, and also flying. I even saw an eagle in this playthrough, and it adds to the dynamic of the game to make it more immersive. Side note, the fish swims away if you put the paddle down next to them, like they most likely would in real life too. I wouldn't mind if the developers added a fishing rod so you can catch fish at the different locations and then just put the fish back in the water again, like a put and take lake. If you go into the options of Kayak VR, then you will find a ton of options that you can change to make the game more realistic and immersive. It also has a ton of comfort options to make it available to play for everyone. You can change so your head tilt changes the balance of the boat. The higher you go in this setting, add controllers too to the balancing. You can also add the ability to adjust the angle of the paddles by your hands angle, the controllers, instead of it being static or automatic. I tried this sitting, but I was pretty much just sitting dead in the water because I couldn't get it to be in the right angle. But that's a personal thing. You can adjust the height offset and also the position offset back and forward. So you can make it fit you perfectly. But if you adjust any of the offsets, then watch out with hitting the top button on the Oculus Quest controller. Because that presets the camera to where you are looking so it resets the height and position and where center of the view is but it doesn't put the offset to zero. Kayak VR is a super interesting game and one that I will most likely buy and mess around in when it releases because it was kinda neat to just relax in a kayak and enjoy the environment. You are able to customize your kayak paddles and also your headwear. I didn't notice that option. But I was also more interested in how the game played for now and not customization. You can, as the dev says, take a stick or something like that and put your controllers at the end of the stick to make it even more immersive. I didn't try it though. Kayak VR is fully playable as a wheelchair user if you have some movement in your upper body as that is needed to an extent at least. I didn't have any problems other than my shoulders getting sore because of me moving my arms in ways I'm not used to. The game is only going to be in Steam as far as I could figure out and I can't give you a price yet 
as it's to be announced when it releases July the 12th. If you feel like I'm missing something or could have done something differently, then leave a comment and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this video where I'm testing out real VR fishing.